An aquatic invasive species is an organism, plant, or animal that made its way to an area that's non-native. We are looking for plants, animals, or organisms that travel from one space to another where they're not native to and steals all the nutrients from native plants or native animals for reproduction and other purposes. So the type of AIS that we're looking for is zebra and quagga mussels is the biggest threat in the Flathead Basin and the whole Columbia River Basin as a whole. We are the last basin in the whole United States to not have zebra and quagga mussels. Other things that we're looking for are plants, which is Eurasian water film oil, curly leaf pondweed, flowering rush. Some of those plants can reroot by a fragmentation, so that's why we're looking for those because we do not want to have those hitchhike on a boat and transport to a new area and take over where native vegetation is. Another animal that we're looking for is New Zealand mud snails. That's just to name a few AIS that we're looking for at the watercraft inspection stations. So what we are looking for in watercraft inspections is boaters to come through, be helpful because it's, you know, it's a two-way interaction and we're here for customer service as well. So we ask the boater to step out of the vehicle and if they can lower their motor if it's a motorized vehicle, which is very helpful, and if we can board the boat to look at the anchor compartment, because those are the two hot spots where we mostly find zebra and quagga mussels, is which is the main reason why we're doing these watercraft inspections. So if you're already a previous boater and you've been through a station, if you could provide your receipt or proof of an inspection would be very helpful. So if we end up finding zebra quagga mussels on your watercraft, then that is a much bigger step. We notify FWP and we let the, the state know what the watercraft is, where it was last at, everything, all the details about the boat owner. We will use our decon unit, which is located in this shed, and it's a huge hot wash that get up to 120 degrees hot Fahrenheit and we'll decon the whole thing, hit it with hot water. And then after that, depending, we'll contact FWP, they'll decide to lock the boat up and then they'll do another interaction with them, with the boater, meet them somewhere, re-decon it, make sure the boat is good to go to be released into the waters.